Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, we're going to be working on our tower defense game. We're going to be actually building some towers and starting the preliminary work to make sure we can move on with this. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. Now, in the previous episode where we left off, we had our cache, the wave, the health, and we had this build menu, and we could left click on one of these towers. We could place it within our room here. However, the tower isn't placed. But if we select another one, you can see that I cannot place another item there as that placeable object is gone. So this is actually pretty easy to do the next steps. If we take a look at our object placeable, in the left release, we already left ourselves a little to do there. And we are already storing the tower that we need to build within this global variable. So really all we should be doing here is creating a new instance of this global variable. So that means we will use the instance create depth function and we will pass the X position and the Y position of our placeable object. And let's use our own depth system or layer system. So in here, we want to make sure that all of our towers go on a special tower layer. And then finally, the object that we want to build, like I said, is going to be inside this global variable. Now, if we close everything off and I were to run the game, I've already gone ahead and set the sprites. If I select one of these guys, say machine gun, and I place him down, you can see that he is now in our game. However, he is a little off centered and we'll fix that in a second. But if I click on machine gun again, you can see that I can't place it there. However, I could place another one down. So our towers are actually in here, but let's fix their offsets. So to do this, how I want it to work is our parent tower is going to be responsible for pretty much all of our code. So in here, you can see that we have some children. And what I want to do is I want a create event for this parent. And then I want to set an alarm one. And I'll explain this in one second. In the create event, I want to make sure that this code is going to be used through all the towers. So I need to make sure that we are not animating any of the towers unless you have animation. And then I want some default information for each tower. So I'm going to have the name and what the current level is. And then we also need the upgrade price and how much damage each bullet is going to do. The next thing I want to have handled is the rate of fire and the radius of which the actual towers can look for enemies. And now to handle the kind of the offsets, I'm going to use an offset X and I'll set it to zero and an offset Y. And I will also set that to zero. And this is going to be responsible for moving the sprite into the correct position. Now, I also have an alarm one here, and I want this to run one frame after the instance has been created. So I'll set alarm one to be that one frame, which means that this alarm is going to run after the create event. And all this alarm one is responsible for is adding the X offset and the Y offset to that position. So that means that we would have to come into each of these towers. We would right click and inherit the event and then change a little bit of the information. For example, the machine gun, I'm going to change the name, the rate of fire and the price. And I'm going to set the offset for my X position to be 16 and my offset for the Y position to also be 16. Now I will point out that I'm using a 32 by 32 sprite and that's the same for the bomb tower and the slow tower. So if you have something a little bit bigger, or a little bit smaller, the X and Y positions will be different. Now, if I save everything and I run my game and I'm going to select the machine gun tower from my build menu and I'm going to place it right here in the middle, you can see that it stays in the middle. Now I've already gone ahead and I've done the same for the bomb tower. So you can see it actually ends up in the middle and you'll have to trust me. The slow tower is also like that. But if we check it out, all we're doing again is we're changing the radius for the bomb tower because it is going to be a bomb tower. It has a more, more bullet damage. The rate of fire is a little bit slower and the upgrade price is 10. We're given a, a name, but you can see right here, the offset X and the offset Y is going to be half the sprite. So 16 by 16. And again, with the slow tower, we'll have the offsets 16 by 16 again. Now I know this lesson was pretty small. It was pretty quick because a lot of the code was already done for us, but you can see how easy it is to create those towers now. And a lot of the preliminary work is already done, so we don't have to worry about creating these towers. And in the next episode, what we'll get into is creating some enemies and actually getting the shooting radius and the bullets happening for these actual towers themselves. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like or comment and don't forget to subscribe. A special shout out to the following in no particular order. Sabaten, Annie, Angel, Paul, Alex, Vil, Ashby, Victor, Ian, Darth Wolf, Robert, and Edward. Once again, thank you everyone.